Hi guys, it's me, Kenny. I'm going to show you my 1920s nail art design and how I did it. It's Charles Lindbergh's flight across the Atlantic Ocean in 1927. He flew from New York across the Atlantic Ocean all the way over to Paris. And it's in history. It's the first uh, flight across the Atlantic Ocean. These are all the colors I used and my tools. Now I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to be really quick here to show you because I'm doing this in a very limited amount of time. So first I'm going to start by showing you how I did the, the background and the ocean design. Okay, so you do this on all your nails. You use your blue and go over all your nails. And then I take my white, a dab on the paper there, move my paper over a little bit, um, take your Q-tip, dip it in, and make little clouds everywhere. It's just like a sponging technique. You can use a sponge too if you want to like make it like cut it smaller or something. Okay, so you just do that. And then I take my dark blue along the bottom there just like that take my sort of dark greenish shiny color this is Caribbean frost that's the name of the color take that take your bobby pin just put that along the bottom there to make it look more like water. So that's your Atlantic Ocean. And then I like to add a little bit of black um, for birds. You can add birds, you cannot add birds. I added birds because I thought they were really cute. So take your dotting tool, dip it in the black, and just make a bird. There's one of them. It's super easy, super quick. Wipe off your dotting tool. So that's the ocean design. Now I'm going to show you guys how I did Lady Liberty on my pinky. So first I start with um, the cloud, cloud sky pattern. And I take my nude color. I grab my dotting. Whoops. Wrong color. I grab my dotting tool, put it in there, and I make the base that she stands on. You can use a gray. I used um, this color because I liked it. And I didn't really have a gray gray, I'll have a silver in my collection. It's harder to find a gray, I noticed. I haven't looked, checked like expensive nail polish out though. Okay, so there's the base. Then I take my white and I make the outline of the Statue of Liberty like that. And she has, she's carrying like a book in her head and her arm. Obviously, take your time, be a little bit neater than I am right now. But I did make another one for um, to show you. And then I take a light green color. This is the closest I could find to a Lady Liberty's color. I couldn't really find mint color where I went. And I'm actually taking my bobby pin to do this. And I'm going to dab the other side of it in the green color and put it just over top of my white. Then you wait for that to dry a little while and you have something that looks like that. Now I'm going to take my dark green color and outline around her, do the robes around the 
look. And then this is the part, once you get to her head, you gotta make like lines for her crown. And do the light in her arm, the torch that she's carrying, just like that. And it should be a little taller, but I did mine on my pinky, so it was really small. This is actually the second version I did. I did one, and I took a picture of it, and I sent it to her, and I sent it to Dollface, um, and I smudged it, and I had to do it all over again, and you know the second time you do it is never, never turns out the same way as the first. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I did the airplane which is the spirit of St. Louis, or St. Louis, which is um, Charles Lindbergh's airplane. Okay, so I take my white, do another dot of white, and my bobby pin, and I'm gonna draw out the airplane. The wings, and I'm using a toothpick now to finish off the smaller detail, like um, the airplane itself is a little skinnier than the wings. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're outlining it with I'm gonna outline it with the the nude color again. This is kind of the bottom of the airplane, I guess you could say, because it, it has um, the letters under there. The letters on his airplane was NX211. and just outline the airplane just like that and, and on mine I added a little bit of detail in black and on the propeller Okay, now I'm going to go with the Eiffel Tower, and I used a dark brown color. I don't know where I got this color, so I can't really tell you guys, but any dark brown color will do. Just do a line at the bottom, that's just the ground that the Eiffel Tower is standing on. And take your black, like that. And you can even draw it out like this. And then I'm using a toothpick to draw out the detail. The sort of uh, curve on the bottom. Then there's that. And there's the circle on the top. And there's kind of a ledge there too. So you can do your research, check out the actual Eiffel, Eiffel Tower if you want to get really in detail on it. And then I took a, a silver color and I used my toothpick, added random dots all over the place on the Eiffel Tower to make it look a little bit more metallic, a little bit more shiny, just like that. So there's my design. I hope you like it. Have a good night.